So there's a bunch of talk about this uh, right now of like, hey, where's everyone going to go? Oh my God. First of all, the sky isn't falling. What we're doing is we're yelling so the sky doesn't fall, right? Let's, let's first, like the goal is to keep unity being unity and, and if you like unity, being able to use unity, right? Okay. So Godot. Godot is a lovely idea. I love the idea of open source. I love uh, kind of the, the, the emphasis of what they're doing. But right now, um, how it works when you work on like a Xbox or PlayStation game, right? So we work out a deal with Xbox. Xbox, like here's some dev kits. Um, and then uh, we go to Unreal and we say, because we use Unreal, and we go, hey, hey, we're, we're on Xbox, man. Give us the Xbox tools. And they're like, you got to prove that. You got to have Xbox tell us you can get the Xbox tools because there's a certain secret sauce here that we don't give to everybody. And then, X, then, then Xbox goes to Unreal. They're like, yeah, 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 give them the secret sauce. And then they unlock the secret sauce. And then uh, we're almost supposed to like limit, whatever. Uh, but you, you, you get the secret sauce and then you get to go on the Xbox, right? You can't do that right now. Those APIs or whatever they are, I'm sure, I'm sure someone's going to correct me on what they're actually called, uh, aren't available for Godot. Uh, but there are services that do that. Someone said like it's the Godot people do the convert um, it's a bunch of hoop jumping when you want to have agency and control over your project and your money uh so that's a big stop now if you're just goofing around having some fun you know publish some stuff on itch for for, for like laughs you know that's fine but be careful because sometimes you start kind of a project as a goof and it turns into something real my friend matt wood who worked at uh, valve with me uh he's got a big city little kitty uh, coming out and that was I think some more of a lark he had been doing a bunch of little unity experiments and one stuck but now it's taken off and it's, it's people are excited about it. it's gonna be a big hit on uh, if he had worked on something where he couldn't publish on other platforms right he might be he might be hurting because what will also happen is right you publish your game on Steam and it's super successful and PlayStation goes like we want some of that bring it over here and you're like oh, I, it doesn't work on your thing man sorry like no that's bad uh so right there's there's nuance there and also there's not just the tool of the engine it's the support around it so it's the marketplace around it which i know godot has one um but it's not that mature like it's all of those kind of things and how do third-party assets work with it and there's like a whole bunch of stuff um the early complaints about godot were that it's very much you work the way they tell you to work um, versus the way that you want to work. And I think they've opened that up since and opened up a lot of more scripting options. I haven't used it yet. I actually downloaded it, but I'm shipping a game in November and it's about to click install. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? How stupid am I? I am that stupid though. Uh, so we use Unreal um, because for our game, originally we had dedicated servers and for multiplayer FPS dedicated server game, you're going Unreal. Uh, and since I am friends with one of the founders of uh, Unity, that was an awkward conversation, but a mature conversation where you're like, yeah, okay, the tools, it gets it, but they wanted to have more AAA style FPS devs uh, as well. But so, right, it's always a trade-off. Uh, and then there's other tools like Construct3, Game Maker, like I can say something about them and someone will point to the polar opposite truth about it. Like, oh no, this was a giant hit using that. Of course you can use that. And I'm like, of course. And a lot of it is, is you can find the tool that you resonate with. Like I think Tom Francis, who made Gunpoint, and then Heat Signature, talks about kind of that transition where he went from uh, using uh, Game Maker to Unity and why he did that. And it's pretty interesting. I think it's on a podcast or something. Um, Tom's really smart, so it's a good, good, good read if he's on a podcast or uh, does a video about something or words. Maybe you have to sometimes work right. Sometimes you got to work for it. Ah, uh, but so. First of all, don't panic, don't dump Unity, don't say you're not gonna do a Unity project. That's not what you wanna do here, is you wanna be rational, you wanna be slow to make a change, and you, but you wanna make sure you understand what's happening and how this is gonna affect you. For some devs, this will make no impact, this change they made. The impact that it will make and the thing that worries me the most is about people on Game Pass and places like that where it'll have a devastating effect because I think people don't understand the scale of those systems yet. Um, and so that's why I'm speaking out. And also just because it's creepy as that word I shouldn't say because I think these get banned. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how what tech tech works even. Uh, but so there, um, yeah, I could go more in depth about why we like uh, uh, Unreal. We do. They take 5% of sales and they take 5% of the sales of if we sell uh, extra stuff, which we don't because we just we just make the game. Come check out my game, The Anacrusis. It's in uh, my bio. Uh, Join our Discord, hang out. That's what we do. We just want to make games. We don't want to argue about making games. 
but yet here we are.